Coming up on the forum, adoption is celebrated in a very special way in Norfolk. You're invited to the ceremony. No more paper checks for your state income tax refund. We'll explain. And we'll tell you about a summer camp to help young teens reduce risky behavior. Human Services Forum begins now. Hi, I'm Jan Callahan, and welcome to the Forum. Every year, the Department of Human Services joins the justices of the Juvenile and Domestic Relations District Court to celebrate Norfolk's newest families. TV's 48's John Linka explains. All right, all right. This is probably the only time these kids and parents want to see the inside of a courtroom. On this day, everyone was gathered here to celebrate Norfolk's sixth annual recognition of National Adoption Day. It is what we call the celebration of being chosen. For the kids, congratulations. We honor you because you have formed the core of a family. Not because of chance, but because your parents yearned to find you with hopeful hearts they searched for you, and with great joy, they found you. And when they found you, they chose you over all others. More than 30 Norfolk foster children were chosen by these parents to join their families. As adopted kids, you join a pretty special group of people. Some of our greatest leaders and artists were adopted kids. From Augustus Caesar, the first emperor of Rome, to John Lennon of the Beatles, adopted kids have grown up to have a huge impact on all of our lives. People as diverse as the brilliant General Stonewall Jackson and the brilliant scientist George Washington Carver began their journeys as adopted kids. One of those adopted kids, keynote speaker for the ceremony, Jillian Jones. With my family, with all of their quirks and all of their ups and downs, I can't imagine my life without them or being any different. I don't feel like there's some kind of void in my life that I'm missing by not knowing my birth mom or my family. Not only was she adopted herself, but she and her husband, Norfolk City Manager okay. Marcus Jones, are adoptive parents. Joshua is an amazing son. He is funny, he's smart, he's cute as a pie. Um, he loves to be the center of tension. He's not afraid to meet new people and he really makes new friends very easily. Maybe there is a future president or someone who finds a cure for cancer or becomes the first person to set foot on Mars. Time will tell, but one thing we know for sure, wherever you kids go and whatever you do, a lot of the credit will belong to the wonderful people in this room who are your parents. You parents are so special. You are such an inspiration to us, to us. so much a reminder of why we chose careers working with children. Me and my wife, we were discussing um, about having another child, um, and the adoption came up. So we looked into it, we did some research, and the more we got into it, the more we liked it. We were foster, we were foster parents first, um, but when these two young men came into our lives, they just kind of just took us away. We appreciate the love that their mother gave, their birth mother gave, that she allowed us to be able to adopt them to be our children forever. What do some of the kids like the most about their new families? Vacation. They let us go outside and they let us go to our grandma's house. 
After certificates were given and snapshots were taken, the Norfolk Sheriff's Office had some new fuzzy friends for all of the kids. Judge William P. Williams had just one more courtroom task to do, and he got the help of one of the newly adopted kids in 10-year-old Keon Blow. Court is adjourned. <laughs>
they can have it with us and our membership is broad so all they have to do is check our website or call us to find out if they're in our field of membership which is different from banks mm -hmm. so people who belong to the credit union have to be in the field of membership um, we offer checking accounts which we call share draft and we also offer savings accounts and with us this, with all credit unions the savings account is your primary account first you have to have that and then you we have the savings um, the checking account and if they have direct deposit the money can go in the savings or checking and then they will have access to it they can go to the ATM machine they can go to use the debit card which we, which we don't charge a fee for the point of sale or they can write checks or they can transfer they can come in within the branch to cash to get the money out there's many options and as I said we have 4,500 locations so they don't have to necessarily come to Portsmouth to take the money out they can go to what we call the outlet or the credit union service center to withdraw their money okay. or when they go to the grocery store or make a purchase they can get cash back oh okay cash back that's always that's that always rings nicely in one's ear so um, of course we're not with with the um, Department of Taxation we want to we're keeping it simple it's like you got an account you can put it into, say, it's Guardian Federal Credit Union. And maybe you want to put some money away and save, or you want to put some in a checking account or on a debit card and spend. Um, this, the other option is, if you don't do those things, or you don't have an account, or you don't make a move to do that, you would have your money go into, um, loaded onto this uh, prepaid card. And um, there are, of course, like any cards, there may be some fees. It depends on who you're working with and what, mm -hmm. you know, who is behind it. Um, but it behooves anybody who's going to be going that route to know um, what what it is um, that the debit card is all about. Um, where can they find out? Um, there is a site mm -hmm. that they can go to, virginia.tax.gov. Uh, okay. That they can get uh, information about the debit card. Okay. And, and, of course, just the whole idea of the direct deposit going on to it. Sure. And, of course, when they receive the debit card from the department, there will be instructions on how to activate the card, fees associated with the card. Um, there are some fees but most of them are ATM fees associated with the bank that you deal with and not with the debit card itself okay you do okay. have the capability of going into a bank and making a one-time withdrawal on the debit card for no fees okay all right good so we have some basic information ways to find out more it is up to the taxpayer as to what you choose to do and how you choose to do it um, but the information is there and it's available and I'm sure anybody um, commissioner's office be able to steer you in the right direction anybody at federal uh, guardian federal credit union will be able to help you and um, any number of the banks around the area too um, can steer you in a direction to give you more information about how to direct deposit your state tax refund or whether or not you want to put it on a prepaid card um, but you have a little homework to do so it's not just as easy as expecting the check in the mail um, as you may have in the past and and so that's that's you know that's change and not everybody likes that but that's just the way it is yep. I wanted to also mention that these two are representing um, uh, two different uh, organizations that support uh, free tax preparation sites in the area so it's part of a larger group called the Southampton Roads Earned Income Tax Credit Coalition. And if you qualify for the Earned Income Tax Credit, if you're a low to moderate income um, taxpayer, working taxpayer, you may uh, qualify for free tax prep assistance. And this would be, um, Guardian has a location in Portsmouth where that takes place, is that correct? Yes, 309 County Street, okay. downtown Portsmouth. Downtown Portsmouth for Guardian, and the Commissioner of Revenue in Norfolk would be at City Hall? At City Hall, 810 Union Street. Mm -hmm. This will be the second year we've hosted the Vita roving site. Okay, great, and it's, it's, it's proved very popular. Yes, it has. <laughs> yes, and you, I, I sure have experienced the same thing. And can I make one comment, too? If some mm -hmm. people think they are no longer be, uh, no longer able to be banked because they've had problems in the past, if they come to us, to Guardian, we, there are ways we can help them to open an account with us so that they can have direct deposit for their um, state income tax okay. refund. All right, good. So don't just write it off because you think, well, I've had problems before, I can't yes. do it now. I'm the only, only option I have is to go one way and one way only. So you've got the door open um, for people to change for the better. Yes. Um, also for free tax preparation services, which can be expensive if you don't have a lot of money to begin with we can talk two hundred dollars up for mm -hmm. fees yes um, and that's two hundred dollars of your money so uh, you know that's something you won't see again but you can get it uh, you don't have to pay it out at all um, through the volunteer income tax uh, assistance program so with two roving sites among many 
and our partners with the United Way have been wonderful in organizing all of that. You've got um, a little heads up on some information and more that um, we'll be sending out to you um, in, in the form of free tax preparation sites throughout Southampton Roads. Um, and there are sites also in the city of Norfolk, including at our Workforce Development Center at 201 East Little Creek Road. A lot of that gets underway, though, tax filing, and uh, the IRS starts accepting uh, returns on the 22nd of January. Is that correct? I so. January 22nd. So um, still have a little bit of time, but it's time to get your ducks in a row. Yes. Get your papers in order. Any advice for people as they are getting ready to pull all that together to ensure that they have what they need for tax preparation? Usually the Vita site provides a list of what they would need to bring with them and that helps. If they don't have, um, they don't find on the site when they call to make their appointment, we can always tell them over the phone what they need to bring. Okay, because there is some documentation that's absolutely necessary that you bring so that it goes smoothly. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and you, know, you, don't, you don't encounter any bumps because you want to get the most that you can possibly get um, from your refund, federal and state, and uh, as little, with as little problem as possible. We have Guardian's uh, phone number and website up there, so if you're interested in looking into maybe opening an account or you've had some problems in the past, we're happy to talk to you. Certainly other banks in the area will be more than happy to talk to you. And, of course, the Department of Taxation and the Norfolk Commissioner of Revenue's Office, um, they're there, too, to, to help you in any way they can. And uh, both of these organizations provide free tax filing assistance beginning um, most likely in February, um, which is when most people are running around getting their taxes done. This is the card that, uh, the state debit card that uh, Rodney was speaking of. Um, so if you don't uh, steer your state tax refund to a, an account, it will go into that card. So we just wanted to make sure you knew what it looked like, because that always sticks in people's minds. In, in addition to the uh, VITA site, you know, the commissioner's office, we prepare state income tax returns year-round um, for Norfolk residents. Okay. Um, and also offer assistance if you receive an assessment letter or garnishment for a previous year. We can help you with those issues. Okay, so it's good to know. This is not 24-7, but, but it is year-round and uh, not just during the tax filing season that the, um, the Commissioner of Revenue's Office will assist with um, taxes and uh, because taxes don't go away no. That's automatically after April 15th, but, you know, what are you going to do? That's right. So, well, thank you for sharing good information with us um, about what is available to people, and they're going to have to take the next step and, and give you a call and, uh, and find out more. So thanks for the info, and I um, appreciate you joining us. You're welcome. And when we return, we're going to hear about what organizers are calling a win-win opportunity for teens, parents, and the community. <laughs> Educational opportunities for young teens can include more than reading, writing, and arithmetic. A spring and summer program targeting young teens is available to both boys and girls in Norfolk and other cities in Hampton Roads. Tasha Dawson and Karen Wilkins are project director and education liaison, respectively, for a program called Yes, Dare to Dream. Thanks for joining us for um, an interesting, a look at an interesting program that targets teens between 13 and 16 years old, a very critical age. Um, and to reduce risky behaviors, well, that can, hand, that, that can cover a lot of ground, but I think the, um, specifically we're talking about um, adolescent um, pregnancies and all the things that attend to that, because that can just change a young teen's life forever. Mm -hmm. So as a, this program, is it an annual event, or is it something that is just starting up? It is an annual event. We are a grant-funded um, okay. organization. 
Um, so like you said, Jan, it does happen during the summertime. Mm -hmm. um, the program is 12 hours for three weeks. Um, anyone in between the ages of 13 to 16 right here in Norfolk and other cities in Hampton Roads are eligible to attend, um, but it does happen every summer. So this is our third year with this grant. Um, it is a five-year grant, and after that, we'll continue with more programs. Okay, great. So what is, the, what is it that you're targeting with these teens? We are targeting um, risky behaviors, um, college pla uh, planning. We're also um, targeting um, um, leadership skills and just helping them to um, branch into their future. Right, and take charge of their lives I yes. guess, at an early age. Huh? Yes. Which, and so those skills and the knowledge uh, to make decisions that are beneficial to them is key. Yes. Now the, the idea of trying to reduce or minimize some of the behaviors that may lead to, say, um, an adolescent pregnancy, um, this is all a part of a curriculum. Is this a faith-based curriculum, essentially, or is this... Uh, no, so what we're trying to do, we're actually looking at two separate curriculums. Okay. Uh, both of them are abstinence-focused. Um, okay. So we're trying to see which curriculum works best in a community-based setting. Um, so the two curriculums that we have, one is called Choosing the Best. The other one is called Possessing Your Power. Um, Choosing the Best focuses in on uh, if you teach a child um, how to have correct behaviors when they get in situations, they'll model those behaviors. While Possessing Your Power is the stance it takes is if you can build a child up from the inside focusing on their character, leadership, and when they get in risky behaviors or risky situations, they'll model correct behaviors. So we're actually looking at two separate curriculums to try to see which works best specifically here in the Hampton Roads community with this population. Okay, so mm -hmm. how do you know which one you're going to offer? Is it when you're there that you kind of test it out or who gets referred to you? Um, well, we do have an evaluator. Um, uh -huh. He is from Baylor University, um, so it is randomized. Okay. So we have partners all across Hampton Roads, um, and we let them know before they have their programs which curriculum they're going to get. Okay. Um, each partner does agree to facilitate three sessions in the summer, so each session could be a different curriculum. Okay. But we've trained them on both curriculums, okay. so that's how the curriculums are selected. All right, so how many of these teens are in each of these um, programs per we're looking for each session, three-week session, to have 15, maximum 25 for each session. Okay. Are they co-ed or are they separate? Co-ed. Co they are. Are mm -hmm. there scenarios that they, they, they act, you know, they have to do like yeah, role-playing and, and things like that? Yes. So in uh, one of the curriculums, Choosing the Best, uh, the first chapter is actually says guys versus girls. So it gives the teens like what the guys think and mm -hmm. the guys are able to talk about their feelings and how they think about sex. And then it also asks the girls what the girls think. And of course in the class it gets pretty uh, heated and, you know, they're mm -hmm. talkative about how guys and girls view each other differently. But it also gives them a chance to hear the other uh, side of what the other sex thinks. Yeah, I'm sure it does generate a lot of, of um, energy and uh, the the idea, and I'm sure anger in some respects, and also just a lot of giggles, since uh, you know, <clears throat> kids are kids, and right. you know, so this is probably not something they talk about openly all the time. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the idea, I guess, is to get it out there into right. the open, so people are actually hearing it and not just imagining what what do they what they think they're thinking. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of misconceptions, I imagine, that come up during these these sessions as well. Um, that that kids think or assume right right so even mm -hmm. in school you know they get misconceptions from their peers yeah. uh, from the media um, even mm -hmm. misconceptions about every kid is having sex when we know that they're not um, or that they have to choose sex or uh, you know pregnancy uh, is the result of sex um, and a lot of times there's misconceptions even about that um, so if you have a child, you know, are you still able to complete high school? Can you still go to college? Uh, so they have a lot of misconceptions, but that's why this education is so key um, and that everybody needs to join the Yes, Dare to Dream program so that the teens uh, can get real information and medically accurate information. Okay. And uh, Karen, how do people um, get into this program? Is this done by making a phone call? Are they referred? <coughs> well, they can make a phone call. To our organization, we can tell them how to uh, apply uh, for the program. It is a free program. They can also check out our website, and they can pull down the application from there and turn it into our office. Uh, what's going on now, we are trying to partner with organizations that will um, host these um, programs at their um, business, 
and they are reaching out to the community as well to bring kids into their organization so they can um, teach them the program. Okay, so you are seeking out organizations to mm -hmm. be a part of this. And do we have some in Norfolk that are already on board, or are we? Yes, yeah, so this past year we actually had two, uh, Compassion, uh, which is a counseling service, and also okay. Abyssinia Baptist Church. Okay. Um, so we're actually recruiting more uh, organizations in Norfolk specifically, um, and also other Hampton Road cities. Okay, and as you said, this is a free program, yeah. so um, it uh, for parents who may be concerned or just because their child is getting into years where independence and independent thought and rebellion and all of those other things are starting to, to really show themselves, um, it's, it's a great way to, to get a child while they're in those formative years to start uh, taking what they think and taking a little bit of accountability yeah. right. um, for mm -hmm. what it is and how they behave. Because we, I guess, don't often mm -hmm. think about huh, the consequences of actions, right. yeah. especially um, in the heat of the moment and when hormones are um, doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It can be very hard. Yeah. It can be yeah. very, very tough for yeah. kids to feel like they're doing the right thing or being cool or doing what they're supposed to be doing right. because that's what they think everybody else is doing. Right. Right. In addition to organizations partnering with us, we're also giving incentives for those organizations to teach this program at their location. Okay, so yes. incentives for the organizations to do it at their location, and uh, the, do you train them to actually conduct these sessions? Yes, so it, it is a train-to-trainer model. Okay. Um, so all of our partners that will have select their own staff will come in, they'll get trained, um, and then they facilitate those uh, sessions at their summer Site. Okay. Do you have a particular date that you're, I, I, I would imagine that there's some time sensitivity to this message getting out mm -hmm. for people to respond or organizations to respond. Do you mm -hmm. have a time frame? Um, for organizations, we would like for them to respond by January um, so that we can formally set the partnership up. Okay. Uh, in March is when we start training and then our program starts in June. Okay. So you've got the month of January to, to think about it and mm -hmm. certainly you'll be, you're hearing about it so that's a that's a good thing so you can contact them at 827-7787 or go to their website and find information as well and if you're a parent that's interested in this you know keep this in mind you can always call Lighthouse Outreach Inc mm -hmm. and ask about the Yes Dare to Dream program um, or the Life Skills um, Leadership uh, yeah, yeah. program which yeah, is right. also very very important and um, and see what might be good right. for your child or for somebody's uh, somebody else's child that you know yeah. about you right. want to they want to suggest. This is good stuff. Yeah. Thank you so yes, much for, yeah. for joining us and, and sharing um, the good information. Yes, and best thank of luck you. to you. All right. Thank, thank you for having us. The summer program. Yes. Thank, okay. you. thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, we uh, appreciate you joining us as well, and we hope to see you again next time. Bye.